Hi guys, this is C.A. Balakrishna from lecturepedia.in. In this video, we will be revising uh, SA 600. Uh, by previous video, we have completed revision of entire 500 series. Okay, As of now, we have completed 200 series, 300 series, 400 series and 500 series. Now, we will be starting with 600 series. Okay. SS 600 using the work of another auditor who is meant by this another auditor. In order to understand who is another auditor, first of all you need to understand who is a principal auditor. Let us say there is a particular company A Limited. Now, this A Limited is having, let us say, a branch okay branch 1 branch 2 now a limited has appointed mr z as auditor okay now a limited is so huge that mr z himself cannot audit these both branches okay thereby what they have done is for branch one they have appointed a separate auditor let's say mr x has been appointed as auditor for branch one mr y has been appointed as auditor for branch two now in this case mr z will be known as principal auditor and Mr. X and Mr. Y will be known as other another auditor or other auditor. Okay. Now here audit report will be given by okay the main audit report on A Limited will be given by principal auditor only. Okay, principal auditor gives the audit report. Now, in this audit report, he will also consider the financials of branch 1 and branch 2. Okay, now the work that has been done by these two branch auditors will be considered by principal auditor in his report. Now, in this case, while using the work of another auditor what are the audit procedures that this uh, principal auditor has to perform okay basically what would be the responsibilities of this principal auditor when he decides to use the work of other auditor this will be dealt by this standard sa 600 hope this is clear in this x uh, 600 series we have sa 600 which deals with other auditor work done by other auditor we have sa 610 which deals with work done by internal auditor okay and we have sa 620 which deals with use of auditors expert work auditors expert okay Basically, this entire 600 series will be dealing with the situation when the auditor uses work of some third party. Hope this is clear. Now, entering into SA 600. As we have discussed, principal auditor auditor responsible for reporting on financial statements as whole when one or more components audited by other auditor okay now what is what will be included in this term component component means division or branch or subsidiary or joint venture or associate okay all these will be covered under component auditors who are separately appointed for these components will be known as another auditor hope oh, this is clear now 
when principal auditor decides to use the work of other auditor what are the audit procedures that the principal auditor will perform in respect of that work performed by other auditor let us see principal auditors procedures with respect to other auditors work first of all principal auditor will determine whether there is any necessity to visit that branch or to visit that component okay visit component and examine books of account if necessary hope this is clear generally principal auditor can rely on the work done by other auditor if necessary if principal auditor feels necessary then he can visit the uh, visit such component and can examine books of accounts of such a component hope this is clear next consider professional competence of other auditor if other auditor is not a member of icai okay if the other auditor who is appointed as a auditor of component is a person other than chartered accountant okay in that case the principal auditor will consider the professional competence of such other auditor okay whether such other auditor is capable of performing audit of such component this will be decided by the principal auditor if the other auditor is not a chartered accountant okay if other auditor is not a member of our institute hope this is clear next perform procedures to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence that the work of other auditor is adequate for the principal auditors processes or purposes okay now other auditor has performed his procedures and he submitted his findings to the principal auditor now principal auditor will obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence to decide whether the work that has been performed by such other auditor is relevant for the purpose of this audit of uh, this audit which is being conducted by principal auditor okay whether he can use that work of other auditor or not okay whether the uh, work that has been done by the other auditor is relevant for this purpose or not that will be determined by the principal auditor next review written summary of other auditors procedures okay once he the principal auditor comes to a conclusion that yes the work that has been performed by the other auditor is relevant for the purpose then he will review the written summary of audit procedures and findings that the other auditor has made hope this is clear next those are the audit procedures that the principal auditor will perform in respect of the work performed by other auditor now before starting the audit principal auditor will can give some suggestions to the other auditor okay some communications can be sent by the principal auditor to other auditor what could be those uh, uh, communications let us see principal auditors communication to other auditor areas requiring special consideration okay considering the risk of material misstatement of the entity principal auditor can give guidance to the other auditor of the areas in which there is high risk of material misstatement and thereby the other auditor has to carefully uh, check those areas okay he will give areas requiring special consideration hope okay procedures for identifying intercomponent transactions that require disclosure okay he will also give guidance to the other auditor in relation to the procedures that the other auditor has to perform in order to identify any intercomponent transactions that have been taken place uh, between uh, components of the entity okay timetable for completion of the audit okay what is the time limit within which the other auditor has to complete the audit next now other auditor has to coordinate with the principal auditor how the other auditor has to coordinate with the principal auditor first of all other auditor has to uh, confine to the timetable okay he should uh, try to complete his work within the time that is allowed that is othering to the timetable 
Next, bringing to attention of a principal auditor any significant finding. If the other auditor has found any significant finding during his audit, he must communicate such findings to the principal auditor. Hope this is clear. Compliance with relevant statutory requirements and response to detailed questionnaire. Okay. Next, division of responsibility. Now, the principal auditor in his audit report must clearly specify the division of responsibility between principal auditor and other auditor. Okay. He must specify in the audit report clearly by quantifying the financial information that has been audited by other auditor. Okay. See. Principal auditor shall clearly specify division of responsibility in his audit report by indicating the extent of, here you can write, financial information that has been audited by other auditor. Hope this is clear. And principal auditor shall not be responsible for work entrusted to other auditor. Hope this is clear. This division of responsibility must be clearly uh, specified in the principal auditor's audit report. Next, write on working papers of other auditor. Obviously, while performing audit procedures, even other auditor will also gather his own working papers. Now, those working papers or property of such other auditor, the principal auditor is not having any right to access the working papers of other auditor. Hope this is clear. However, principal auditor can ask for any clarifications from the other auditor or principal auditor can visit the component and can uh, again perform audit procedures if necessary. But the principal auditor cannot ask for access to the working papers of other auditor. Hope this is clear. See, principal auditor does not have access to working papers of other auditor, but has right to seek clarifications and visit branch. Hope this is clear. By this, SS 600 has been completed. In the next class, we will be revising the SA 610. And if you want to purchase classes, you can visit our website lecturepedia.in and you can purchase the classes from our website. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care.